Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna have a quick look at Put A Little Love On Me by Niall Horan on the guitar. We got the keeper on fret 3 for the song, uh, just to make the chords as easy as possible, avoiding all the bar chords. And on the other hand, I kind of to make it sound to the studio version. So, keep on fret 3. Now, I'm gonna be breaking down the structure firstly, after that I'm gonna be showing you the chord shapes. So we start off with the intro, then we have the verse 1. Then we got pre-chorus, then we have the next uh, then we have one chorus, then we go to the next verse, which is actually different. It's not same as the first verse. It's a slight change we have in verse 2. And then the, we have pre-chorus, which is same as the previous pre-chorus which we had before. And uh, then we have chorus, uh, which is again same. And then you have a refrain, then you got a chorus, and chorus leads us to the end of the song. So pretty nice and easy. Uh, the chord shapes will be G major 3, 2, open, 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 3. E minor, open, 2nd, 2nd, second, open, open. C major, mute, 3, 2, open, 1st, open. D major, mute, mute, open, 2nd, 3rd, 2nd. Um, what else do we have? A minor, mute, open, 2nd, 2nd, 1st, open. And then we have um, C major, I showed you C major. Uh, we have B uh, we have a B minor chord which is mute two four four three two. This is the shape which I'm playing. Uh, B minor. You can play this easy version where you don't need to bar anything, but you just keep the top two string muted. And when, when you bring this B minor chord shape one fret up, it's a C minor. So three mute three five five four three. Background one fret B minor. That's it. Alright guys, now I'm gonna be starting off with the intro, which is really easy. Uh, we start with the G major chord one dance stroke. Two, three, four. You go to D major. One, two, and on three you move on to the C major. So we got one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's the intro. After that we again have a G major. One, two, three, four. Same way D major. One, two, and on the next three move on to the G major chord. And if you notice, I'm playing the G major chord like this, which is third fret on the B string. If you keep that open, it's okay. But for this song, third fret on the B string, I think it sounds a bit better. Uh, now it's time for the first verse. This is the main rhythm. So if you master the whole string pattern, uh, you're able to play the whole song. So we have. I'm going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Two. Right, so it actually goes like this. Oops, my prep drum just failed. Uh, let me just figure it out. Yeah, got it. So, <laughs> never mind. Uh, this string pan works like this. Uh, we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And what I'm doing is on the one, I'm mainly strumming it a bit louder, and on the two, three. 2, 3 and 2 are mainly strum the top string. So it goes like this. So you strum the full chord on the 1. Then on 2, 3 you kind of do muted dance stroke on the top string. So you mean focus is on the top strings. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. See that? That's how you do that. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Once on every chord, a verse 1 starts off. We have uh, G major. We got B minor, E minor, D major. Now uh, we fight, we get high holding on to love. We uh, come, we came down because there was nothing holding us. That's the part which I'm talking about. Then after that we have, is it wrong that I still wonder where you are? Is it wrong that I still don't know my heart? I don't remember the tune. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. All our dams, no scene of up. And you move on to the pre chorus, the rhythm will be the same. Uh, you have Are You All Dressed Up but with Nowhere to Go. We play a G major chord. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Let me go to this quick change. Now it's like a G major chord, but what I do is I just play 2nd fret on the top of E string. And it's the same thing after all. Instead of 3rd fret, you play 2nd uh, fret on E string. Go to E minor. What you can do for the E minor chord is you can just keep 3rd fret on the B and the high E string fixed. Like you had for the G major chord. You can do that. Then D major. 
Nota G. Same way, second fret on E string, which is actually known as G slash F sharp. E minor. D. And then we have I still got so much love hidden beneath the skin. It's A minor. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one. So we have A minor. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Love. E minor. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Beneath the skin, just one dance around the major. And we end the song. So uh, there we have the pre chorus. Uh, then we have the chorus put a little love on me uh, it goes like this so what I'm doing is put a little love on me I'm playing G major chord I'm going one two three one two three one two then I go to D major which is love I go for one two two three and the rest one two three one two I finish that off on the C major chord that's how I split the string pattern see that one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two that's it uh you play that two times whenever you have that line put a little over me you play g d c so we go and then we have uh, the second part of where we have the when the lights come up and there's no status dancing we play g one two three one two three Go to D major, one, two, three, one, two, three. E minor, one, two, three, one, two, three. Shadows dancing, C major, one, two, three, one, two. Repeat that line another time. I look around as my heart is collapsing. So we have. We can even go for two dance stroke. I think that would be a lot more easy. So we have. Heart is collapsing. Lights come up. There's some shadows dancing. And then we have because you're the only one I need. At that time, we go to a C minor chord. It gets a little bit sad because you're the only one I need. And then you go to the G major chord. And then you have to put a little love on me. Uh, so, time when you end the chord, so you play G, you play D, put a little love on me. Instead of going to the C major chord, we're gonna be going to the G major chord because G major always shows us the ending. So, put a little love on me. The chorus ends G major. Now we have the verse two. I hope till this part everything is crystal clear. But for the verse two. Uh, it's going to be the exact same thing as the verse 1. The only change we which we have is in the last chord. Instead of playing a D major chord, we're going to be playing a C major chord. That's it. So G, e B minor, E minor, C. G, B minor, E minor, C. So we have... And then we have the pre chorus which is exactly same, the chorus exactly same, and then we have the refrain. Last night I lay awake E minor, one day stroke, stuck on the things we say G major. And when I close my eyes A minor, the first thing I hear you say is D major. Then we have put a little love on me, back to the chorus, same thing. Uh, if you want, you can if you think that part is a bit soft, you can just go for one day stroke. Put a little love on like that. And it brings us to the end of the song. You are the only one I need. Put a little love. Uh, sorry. You are the only one I need. So, put a little love on. And end the song with a G major chord. And yes, that's the whole song. So, uh, yeah. I don't level best. Uh, show you in the most easiest way. Though I don't remember the tune. So, it may be a disadvantage. Never mind. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope this helps you out. Make sure you subscribe and let me know what other songs you want to learn. That's it. Bye.